as I've briefly mentioned, the idea of electric current only really occurs in a loop, in a circuit. And in this circuit, you will need some kind of battery or voltage source that gives you the potential to push the current around in the circuit through something that uses up the energy and then back to the beginning so that it can flow again with added energy. And whatever this thing that uses the energy, we give it this property called resistance, which measures how hard it is to push current against it. And this all put together is of course Ohm's law, which states that how hard you push will be a product of how much it flows times this, I, this thing called resistance. From this form, you can see the higher the resistance, the lower the flow for the same push. Based on this, you can figure out resistance by V over I, and indeed that's how we define the units for resistance, which is an ohm, and it's defined to be a volt divided by one amp, simply. So in this case, they are asking us about the resistance. Uh, now they're talking about the effective resistance because it is possible for different devices to have different resistance as we apply different amount of current and voltage through it. But in this particular case, we just have to plug in these two numbers. 11 volts divided by 150 amp. Fairly simple. And we get that. So in a very simple circuit, the Ohm's law can be used very directly. And hopefully you can see where we put each of the different variables and where they come from.